Hello everybody and welcome to this inspiration software tutorial from biggerplate.com. In this video we're going to show you how to use the hyperlinks feature in inspiration which is a great way to save external resources into your mind maps and provide quick access to essential information whenever you need it. So let's take a look. Okay now when we're adding hyperlinks into an inspiration map we might be linking to a website or a file on our computer. To add any hyperlinks into any mind map we've got to first select the topic and then use the main menu hyperlink option that you'll find up here. Now for example if we wanted to add a link to a website what we need to do is come up to the hyperlinks section make sure we've selected a topic and you'll see we've got four options here I'm only going to talk about these two the web page and the file because I think these are the most useful ones here so we can say I want to link to a web page and we could put in a, a web domain we know here such as biggerplate.com or you could copy and paste uh, from a web URL and say OK and you'll see here that this text has turned blue and if I click that it's going to pop open on my screen the web address that I've saved. Now that could be to a, a headline domain like biggerplate.com or it could be to a very specific page very deep into a website structure. The key thing is just copy and paste the bar up here into your inspiration mind map. Now if we wanted to link to a file on our computer the process is largely the same. Again we come up to the main menu hyperlink option but this time we're going to select file and then what we do here is select the file and this is going to open the option to browse on your local computer. So here it's showing my desktop and it looks like there's no files here but actually what we need to do here is just change this file type to say all files and you'll see there's a few different documents here that I could link to uh, for example here's a, a, a airline PDF I've got for someone uh, so I'm going to save that and that's going to then add into my mind map and again you'll see that text has turned blue and underlined and that means now if I click on that topic that link will open up that PDF and that document. So it's a great way to pull relevant information right into your mind maps and not lose things in bookmarks in your browsers or buried in your files. If you want to remove a hyperlink from a topic at any time you simply select the topic go up to the main menu and look for the remove hyperlink option. So to show you how that works, let's say we want to remove this hyperlink to biggerplate.com, we select the topic, we come up to the hyperlinks option again, and we just come down here to say remove hyperlink. And there you have it, a quick look at the hyperlink feature within Inspiration. For more resources to help you go further with mind mapping, visit biggerplate.com.